New developments we're hearing from the retired police officer who jumped into action to help catch a suspect who led police on a dangerous high speed chase. Channel 2's Taisha Fernandez has more from Gwinnett County. Yeah, I did what I had to do. Yeah. This retired police officer jumped into action Saturday morning at the quick trip on Peachtree Industrial Boulevard and Duluth Highway. He asked us not to use his name. I stopped in there to get coffee like I do every Saturday. And the clerk and myself, we heard a loud bang. Police say that bang was a car wreck that this 17 year old suspect caused while trying to get away from police in a stolen car. Investigators told us the teen was going nearly 100 miles per hour in a 45 zone. They say he hit a female driver while she was sitting at a red light and then jumped out of the stolen car and ran. The uh, suspect in the car accident came running toward me yeah. with his hand in his pocket, his right hand in his pocket, so I just assumed he had a weapon. The retired cop knew exactly what to do. Well, you know, you, you do the job for so long, so right away my first instincts were to say, police. Let me see your hands. The suspect complied, and that's when officers who had been chasing him for 30 minutes arrested him. You know, it, it just happened so fast. Training and experience take over. It's, it's all instinctive. The whole thing might have taken 15 seconds. The old saying is, once a cop, always a cop. When I interviewed that retired officer today, he said over and over again that he wants all the credit to go to Sewanee Police and Duluth Police. He said they were there in seconds, and they did a great job making sure no one was injured. We're live in Gwinnett County. Taisha Fernandez, Channel 2 Action News.